Okay. Right. We're going to colour. We start. It starts out red. The original's red and black, so we're going to start with black and yellow, black and cyan, then black and magenta. So we just go back here. Right. Oh, paper. We all know what that's going to be if we've seen my silly demos. <laughs> so this one's going to be small. Okay. What are we going to make it? Uh, copied paper, glossy, whatever. So it's the same. Whoops, I got a bit rough. Sorry, guys. I don't normally do that, but I'm not perfect. No one's perfect in this damn world. Fuck me. I'm going to contrast it. Okay. No, we can't set saturation with two color. Okay, that is a feature clash, and I sometimes forget. But I guess it'll make the demo more entertaining when you get the odd feature clash. Yeah, it's kind of like a Minolta. Okay, let's see what we're doing. We've got to enlarge this. We haven't done that yet. So we got here a printer's swatch. It looks like it's come off a box, a cardboard box. A printer's swatch, or whatever they call it. But this one's all in red and all in red, and the black background or black, mostly black so black and red so we're going to work out intuitively how big we're going to make this so one I think horizontally it's going to be 400 and vertical it's going to be less so I'll start off with putting in 400 x equals 400 y has to be a smaller value we've got to shrink it a bit so let's see how big we're going to make it So 360% along the vertical, the vertical axes, which is the Y axis. Okay, let's see how this goes. It's bloody hot today. Woo! No folks, there's no air conditioning in this place. If this weather continues as is, it's gonna really, really heat this house up. Or well, this unit, it's rather it's a unit, not a house. But it's still housing. But anyway, let's see how this comes out. <clears throat> Photocopy is making squeak has gotten worse. As you probably noticed if you watch my demos regularly. Let's see what I got. Well, look at that. I think it's a little you can't see much of the stretch, but it's obviously there. We'll just start with that that's the yellow contingent could be not it could be better if i placed it differently but i decided not to be bothered i just wanted to put it against the edge of the glass to keep it simple so let's just Now that's the cyan contingent. I wonder what Rosso means. Sounds like someone's name rather than the company. Rosso. What is Rosso? That's an interesting one. It's like having a friend called Ross or Roscoe and calling him Rosso for short. Or maybe more like an ex correction, more likely with the name Ross. Ross is a simple name, but Rosso sounds like, hey Rosso, how are you doing mate? That's what it sounds a bit like. Someone's name being called Rosso instead of Ross. I've heard of Roscoe. Roscoe is another variant. Anyway, enough about Ross and Roscoe and Rosso and Rosso, whatever. Let's just say we call it quits. That's magenta. 